Hurricane Dorian, now a Category 2 storm, strengthening this morning, threatening to hit Florida as a major Category 4 hurricane. Yeah, let's take a look at the satellite show. That's right. A Category 4. <sighs> this is not good. Um, I never experienced a Category 4 before. <laughs> 4 before. Um, not a joke, though. Um... I never experienced this. I only experienced a category. Um, category uh, one. So let's keep going into this. Hold on. Okay. okay, hopefully you can hear me better. Hopefully. Going Dorian on the movie. See it right there, making its way through the Atlantic. And here's what the storm looks like from space. You can see this storm is just getting bigger and bigger. Hurricane Hunter flying right into that storm, capturing this video. And here's oh what boy. we know right now. Dorian could be a Category 4 storm when it hits the east coast of Florida sometime on Tuesday. More than 17 million Americans are on alert. The state of emergency in Florida has been... You heard it there, folks. Category 4. I don't know what to think of this. Now, Sir Marco Flogan, Word Squad 2.0, <sighs> Crazy Loot House, any people, any subscribers of mine that live in Florida, or if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, um, and if you're living in Florida, prepare to get hit with a Category 4 on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, you already saw what it looks from space, and it does not look pretty. Expanded to include every county in that state and a dozen counties in Georgia. And of course, our team is spread out all across the storm zone. Our Rob Marciano starts us off right there from Melbourne Beach, Florida, where they are now bracing for a possible hit. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Cecilia. Uh, Hurricane Dorian now about 800 miles uh, that way in the open ocean. We have hurricane watches that are posted for the Bahamas and advisories and watches may very well be posted here along the Florida Peninsula later on today or certainly tomorrow. It's getting more organized in those warm waters. Here's a satellite picture. Uh, it's a Category 2 storm now and on the verge of becoming a Category 3 storm uh, just north of the Turks and Caicos Islands. 85, 86 degree water temperatures there, so it's got plenty of fuel to fire this thing. Probably become Make a cat three later. As you can, s as you can see, I am in Tampa, and it's near Tampa. And I'm gonna be hit with a category. One today, maybe a cat four uh, late tomorrow night into Sunday. Now, the timing of this has slowed down a little bit, so it's Monday night into Tuesday morning, potentially a cat four somewhere between Fort Lauderdale, maybe Cape. All right, I wasn't expecting that, did I? Okay, so it's gonna be a category one. Uh, so yeah, actually, Jacksonville is not gonna be get not gonna get hit, so they're lucky. Uh, it's, and where I am, it's gonna happen at Wednesday, 2 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty, pretty lucky, to be honest. So, I, I didn't really think, I thought this was gonna be bad, but I'm in Tampa, and we're gonna get hit with a Category 1. Canaveral, but this is going to be a powerful storm, and there's still some a fair amount of uncertainty in this forecast. The setup's the same. High pressure will nudge it towards the west. Oh, my and God. And our computer models, though, the last last night we launched more balloons. We had more recon aircraft, so they're in a little bit better. That's in the middle, guys. That is in the middle, and I'm in the middle. Better agreement. A little bit more confidence this morning that central or south floor is going to get hit hard, but it'll probably go north. All right, let's look at this. Oh, my God gosh 
Oh my. We are going to be in for a treat. There's a coastline. So high impacts with this, big wind, big rain, and of course a storm. Bruh, it's gonna hit it. Oh my gosh. Life threatening storm surge, hurricane force winds, heavy rain at 12 through 24. Oh my I'm sure. To highlight that, we want to show you our, our drone shot here. In this part of Florida, we've got these big dunes that, that protect the Atlantic side, but we are not too far from the intercoastal waterway, and uh, many parts of Florida are surrounded uh, by water on both sides, and you can get surge on the other side of this in the intercoastal, so that's an issue, as you know, Tom, being from this area as we go through time over the week and a lot of water, a lot of problems. Yeah, and a very wet summer as well. All right, Rob, we'll be checking in with you throughout. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights. Well, that was it. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Prepare yourselves for what you are going to face. Category one. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, just a category one, it's still going to hit Florida. And we don't know if it's going to become a category four or not. Cause it's going to happen on Wednesday, not Tuesday, never mind. So just prepare yourself, it's going to happen on Wednesday. It may not though, we don't know. We don't know if it's going to happen. I may be able to, I may be going to school on Tuesday, oh man, but, uh, so yeah, it's gonna, it, we don't know, it sometimes changes, and so, yeah, so that was my reaction to Hurricane Doreen. <sighs> this is a category one, but just still, be prepared. Peace.